Hey everybody, and welcome. <clears throat> so I've already started the record button here, so we are going to record it so all the people can watch it. And if you have to leave early, then you can do the same. Okay, so... Um, Expert Academy, we're going to talk about that today, talking about some of the strategies, the, the technology, and everything that involves in the apprenticeship for 2024. Um, howdy, Richard, how are you doing? People still coming in, so um, hope the chat's working there. Uh, so please uh, sort of ask your questions as we go along. We'll, we will try and, uh, and do them. Hi, Paolo. Hi, Christine. Uh, we will try and answer them as we go along, but I want to, what I want to do is get through the information first, and then we'll, you know the best thing to do is take those questions at the end. Uh, that would be easier to manage. So what I'm going to do is switch my video off for a second, and I'm going to uh, let Gary uh, take over this next section. Good afternoon, everybody, or good morning, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, Paul, thank you very much. And um, ladies and gents, really my job here just at the moment is just to say hello to you all and to give a little introduction to Paul, because many of us um, kind of know Paul, but really don't know Paul. So I thought it'd be a good idea to, to get to know him a little bit uh, a bit, bit more. And um, this is, I think, how we all see Paul. Um, we see Paul, the trader. And all he does all of the time is sit behind some computer screen, uh, studying charts all of the time. And when you look at Paul, um, you know, Paul spent 17 years in the British Army in what's called the Royal Electrical Mechanical Engineers. And you can see Paul there with hair. I thought it was important we got to see young Paul. And he he's kind of gone from from being in the REMI, which is kind of the engineer type role of the of the British Army, to being, well, nothing short of remarkable, really, you know, because he spent the last 20 years Ooh. trading and and also teaching people how to trade and, of course, creating some of these fantastic indicators that we have. And, um, yeah, thanks, Paul. We, here you are with Gunther. He likes to show that picture off. But um, one of Paul's greatest strengths, ladies and gents, is that it's his ability to recognise behavioural yeah. patterns and their correlation with the financial market. So that's kind of some of his real strong things. And what Paul does, as you know, he pretty much uh, demystifies and simplifies these patterns. And then he he uses these indicators uh, and the technology to empower people just like you and I um, to identify and to capitalize on some of these regular confluences. And you'll hear Paul speak about confluences during this presentation. And that allows you then to create effective strategies for day trading, swing trading and investing. And if you think about this, ladies and gents, for over a decade, um, Paul has dedicated himself to streamlining once complex trading strategies into the simplified process that many of you are seeing right now. But his popular expert uh, trading indicator software showcases not only his expertise, but as well as his commitment to creating these user-friendly software that provides clear visualizations and easy to understandable rules uh, for, for trading. So what we've effectively got here, guys, we've got Paul as the trader that you uh, and I know. But I've known Paul for a few years now, and I want to kind of um, say some things about Paul that many of you don't know. And I'm very blessed because I, I, I play golf with Paul quite a lot when he's over in Spain. And I got to know Paul um, through him, through Paul Bratby, not through the trading person. And yet every time we had our business networking meetings, he just oozed passion about uh, trading. And it was actually this, 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 this passion of trading that brought me into actually coming along and working with Paul because he said some words, and I'm going to say these words now, ladies and gents, and I hope you understand the context of them. And I won't say them verbatim, but you'll get the point. He said to me, Gary, I view my success as an entrepreneur, not by how rich or successful I become, but by how many people become rich and successful as a result of me. And I thought, nice guy, really nice guy. And this is why he's created this ambassador program that Paul's going to share with you just in a moment, because he genuinely wants 
many, many people to be more successful in life. And what I've learned from speaking to many of the uh, of the people involved in this wonderful world of trading is, is just how fantastic the trading world really is. But I also coined a phrase that I mentioned to Paul just recently. I said, um, Paul, you know the best thing about trading? And he said, what? I said, the best thing about trading is there's no accountability. And he said, yeah, this is true. And I said, you know, Paul, the worst thing about trading? And he said, what? I said, the worst thing about trading is there's no accountability. You see, the best thing about trading is there's no accountability. But equally, the worst thing is there's no accountability. And through Paul's apprenticeship program, he'll help help you to become more accountable and therefore more successful. So without further ado, I'd like to hand you over to Paul. He's going to run through this fantastic uh, brand ambassador program and hopefully enlighten a few of you as to a better path to make more money in this wonderful world of trading. Over to you, Paul. Thanks, Gary. Uh, I've gone a bit red now, as you can probably see. Um, I don't like talking about myself, so uh, I got Gary to do that for me. He's a good friend. He's actually coming out to Dubai on Saturday to spend a week with me and my wife's, well, my wife's away in England. So, yes, Gunter Steiner, guys, spent an hour and a half with this guy and he never swore once. I don't know whether you've seen um, Drive to Survive, but he swears constantly on that programme, but he did not swear once. So that's uh, his great guy. Uh, and I met him in Singapore, actually, really good guy. So just briefly about the book. So um, over the last 10 years, what I wanted to do is build though, that technology and software for all the different strategies for different market conditions, because for, for years, I traded those all manually and had this confluence strategy that I used. And it was obvious to me because I can see those patterns, but not everybody can see those patterns. So hence the book. Uh, and the book talks about those confluences and teaches you uh, not just about the, the, the technicals, but the fundamentals uh, and those drivers. And I will mention confluence quite a lot today. So three secrets, okay? Just gonna move my ugly mug out of the way uh, a little bit. Um, secret one, there's three secrets. And one of the things that I really want to concentrate on is keeping things simple. So a proven, a simple and repeatable system to fast track your trading success. What I don't want to do is look clever, okay? Uh, there's lots lots of people out there that, that like to look clever and be very convoluted and try and teach you like you are at university and doing a four year course. That's not trading, okay? We need to have something that's simple and repeatable that we can remember, okay? Then you need to do the exact tools you need to succeed in 2024, and we have them, and including the new one that's going to be included in the apprenticeship as well. Uh, and then one of the biggest things is how to master that mindset at the top, 0.1% trader, because they're the only ones that actually get profitable and win, okay? I class myself as in, in that sort of uh, category uh, because – I did it, okay, and I'm still doing it, and people see it on the Discord, on the Teams, and everything like that. So, um, and that's because I have a certain mindset, and that mindset revolves around being half robot. Hence, the expert, um, the the logos that we have for the different softwares. It's half human, half robot, because um, that that mindset has to be very ordered, has to follow the rules, and just basically behave and follow the flow. So we'll get more into that later. So secret one, the you know the fast track. You've got to follow the rules, okay? It's very, very simple. Now, I'm only joking here, but if you can't follow simple rules, please leave this meeting now, okay? Because I am like that, okay? I tell it as it is, and I have tried to condense and simplify everything so you can just follow some very simple rules. So we're going to talk about those on an example in a minute. Use the tools. Don't use anything else. Okay, I spent 10 years and a great deal of money developing those different strategies to all combine and fit together to give you the right tools to succeed if you follow the rules. Create a daily method of operation uh, again, it goes into that mindset, if you like, and look for reasons not to trade. That's my mantra, okay? If you can't find those reasons not to trade and you followed all those rules, there's a good probability it's going to go and win. 
So a little bit more about the daily method of operation here. So check diaries, clean, you need a clean window to trade. So hospital appointments, uh, if you've got kids, recital, soccer, uh, you name it. You know, I, my kids are older now, so I don't have that. All I have is the dogs uh, and my wife and the social calendar and everything else. But again, you need a clean window to trade, no distractions, no Amazon deliveries, no nothing. You need to make sure that you have a clean window to trade. You're going to check economic data, not just daily, but you're going to check at the beginning of the week so you can almost plan your week. Uh, and we, we talk about this in depth a little bit more in the, um, the apprenticeship. It's important to understand to plan your week, understand those major economic data points, not just in the US. OK, there are some major economic data points in Europe that will affect the US dollar and those correlations will follow. Overnight price action and volume, extremely important as well. Some, uh, you know, some of those overnight highs and lows may come into effect during the session that you want to trade. So they're very important. And finally, frame those charts, okay? Uh, and we spend quite a bit of time on doing that, even though we've got software that does it automatically, you still need to be understanding uh, trend channels, you need to be understanding EMA clouds and all that sort of thing. So uh, again, it's very important to have that daily, um, you know, just it's just following the same thing all the time, that muscle memory. So the exact strategies, tools, and indicators you need to succeed in 2024. So there's a lot on here, but one of them is quite new. So it's the Slingshot Automated Strategy Builder. That is coming out next year, but it's already in the apprenticeship for 2024. It's already programmed in. The lessons are already done, and that software is included in the uh, apprenticeship. So um, we go right from uh, the, the automated support resistance zones, the bias kept team, that's one of the most important tools in there. One of the smallest tools, but we get that confirmation for a lot of strategies. Uh, the expert range breakout, and then the automated trading strategy for the expert range breakout again. So automated trading strategies, algorithms are uh, extremely useful, uh, but they need to be learned, and you need to learn how to optimize and understand how to keep re-optimizing those. So again, we do the same with the roller coaster, uh, the roller coaster auto, we look at Elliott Wave, uh, Xbrat, the Slingshot, the Slingshot ASB, VWAP Predator, Harmonic Patterns, the Xbrat Algo, uh, and the Xbrat Algo Auto Trader, and then the Manager. So <laughs> this is the combination of all, pretty much all of the tools, okay? It's taken me 10 years to develop because I wanted that, um, that combination right for the confluence strategy uh, that is so important to me and I use all the time. Um, we're there, we've got them. Now we combine them and we understand how to use them together to get those continual high probability trading strategies. And sometimes they're there for looking for reasons not to trade. So if we don't get that confluence and there's something working against us, then that um, is the reason not to trade as well. So we're going to walk through an example on crude oil. So my chart sets, most of you will know, uh, if you followed me for quite a long time. <laughs> yes, I do look like the avatar because that is me. Uh, I've changed my glasses slightly since then, but everyone, uh, it, you know, it is me. So... I have a chart, on each screen I have a chart set of usually three or four um, different charts, okay? So what I'm going to talk about here is just a, a, a simple confluence strategy where we use the confluences to uh, sort of get that trade and get in uh, and get that sort of confidence in the trade. So I just want to talk about confluences very briefly uh, and I explain a lot more in the book. So imagine a river running down a mountain and sometimes the streams the tributaries that are feeding that river are, are hidden they're underground you don't see them okay but they increase the flow in the direction okay they will increase the flow to such a rate that it keeps flowing 
until at some stage a beaver or man uh, actually builds a dam. It either, either stops the flow or redirects the flow. Uh, and then sometimes if it dam, it opens up a bit and lets that flow again. Uh, so that would be one of those contra confluences uh, within the market. So what we're looking for is to unearth those tributaries, if you like, with different um, types of strategies that work different to each other, but actually come together to show the increased flow and the, the, the you know your, your confidence in that flow and in that trade. So it's very important not to rely on one particular strategy, but a confluence of strategies that allow us to 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 build uh, a reason to trade or a reason not to trade. So one of the things I want to talk about here is on these three chart sets. Initially, we've got the expert range breakout on the left. We've got top right, we've got expert algo, bottom right, we've got the ex, uh, the VWAP predator, and, and of course, we've got that bias debt heap at the bottom. The main thing to consider from this particular slide is the, the vertical line. That's at the exact same time on each chart, okay? So what we're going to do is look at each chart. Just remember, that's the exact same time of the day uh, that we look for, and that's what I'm looking for when I'm looking for confidences, Okay. So let's move to the next slide. So this is the range breakout. Let's talk about the behavior from the left. And again, when you're trading, it doesn't matter. There's nobody in this office with me. I still talk to myself, okay? I still talk through the behavior. It's very, very important. And something that my apprentices, um, are, it's drilled into them. If you speak it out loud, it will become clearer. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the London Open. This is oil, it's in the 10 minute time frame and we get the range breakout, we find that range, okay? Uh, the, the buy step heat map down below is red. The, you know, we've got a, we've got the breakout to the upside, I'm not gonna take that, a reason not to take that trade to the upside is purely because the buy step doesn't give the confirmation. The next thing is we, we get this move down, that's good, that, that's fine, we don't get the buy step heat map there, I'm talking about this particular time of the day. So we're coming into uh, the um, the US oil open, which is 9 a.m. EST. We come just before there, we come to test the underside of that London open. Then we come into the oil pit open here, and this is that first uh, candle where we've got the, the little sign there. The sign is in red. The range is colored in red. We're looking for a short. We don't put the short on because all six time frames are not red. We don't get the confirmation. But this is important now to understand that behavior. We come up to test the London Open again and it rejects that high. It can try again and again. And this time though, we get a higher than average volume, high volume as well than the previous candle rejection of the highs, okay? This is extremely important. This is rejection of the highs on higher than average volume. It's rejected that London opening range. The follow on candle is extremely important that we get a lower low and a lower high, okay? So the momentum to the upside has been rejected, starting to come back down again. So we now start to break out of that opening range. So we've had the tests, we've come back down, we're starting to break out of that opening range. But I'm a little concerned that this range bias, not necessarily the lower um, bias depth heat map, is still yellow, it's still neutral. I need some more confidence. I need to understand what's going on on different time frames with different strategies to give me that confidence, that go, no go type scenario where we understand that the flow is going. I need to unearth some of those uh, other different types of strategies to give me the confidence that the flow down in this case is strong enough for me to trade. So again, buy step theme maps all red. So we've got that confirmation. I'm just a little unsure. And that's why that multi time frame uh, comes in here. So now we go to uh, the five minute Haikanashi. Okay, so this is a five minute uh, time frame, the exact same time. There's that arrow. Okay, but this time we've got the VWAP predator. But be first, before we go through that, during that opening range, uh, and then that that sort of the first sort of 15 minutes, everything, you see all of these buy and sell signals here. Why don't we take that? I'll give you the rules are look at the, the buy step team map. We're green, red, yellow, we're all over the place. Okay. There's no definitive direction. Okay. That's the reason not to trade. 
Also, we get these sell signals, we're going to go into support. We don't short into support. We get the buy signals. We do not go long into these short-term resistance zones, okay? And then eventually, we start to move down. We get a sell signal here, and then the second sell signal at this point is the one that really interests me. We're trying to break through this five-minute support and resistance zone. We're looking like we're going to push down through this 15-minute support and resistance zone. All six time frames are red. Our entry sensibly is below that 15-minute time zone at 76.24. That's our short entry. This next zone wasn't there at that time. Okay, it gets loaded automatically when we come back from below to test that. Now, this is where I teach behavior. It's very, very important to understand the behavior that happened when we hit this first sort of towards that 15 minute zone. So here we get a big green candle. It's higher than average volume, looks fantastic, brilliant. It's probably gonna come back up. We might get taken out of the trade, but look what happens on the next one. We go to test here, we reject on higher than average volume, okay? So this is a rejection on higher than average volume. This is a sign that this is going to run out of juice, okay? It's going to run out of juice. And that's what it did. It tipped that 15-minute zone and came back down again. Here, we just see the ribbon of the manager just remaining red. And then we go in until the ribbon turns green at 75.21. That's a 100-tick trade. That's $1,000 per one contract. What we've done is we've understand the start of that move. We've understood the behavior of the range breakout. Testing that London open, rejecting those, um, those highs, coming back down through, unsure that we're going to take the short because the bias of the range breakout is yellow, it's neutral. But we're getting the confirmation on this at Brad Elko. Uh, sorry, the, the VWAP Predator. I'm getting ahead of myself because the next one is about the expert algo. So the expert algo, just a little after that time, we get a six-star sell signal here on the three minutes. Very, very important. So we're getting, it's coming down through that range. We've got a VWAP predator sell signal. Now we've got a six-star six expert algo signal. To, there's 12 points of control, 12 confluences of different uh, technical indicators to give us that six star total it's pure price action as well vwap predator is about volume okay range breakout defines that volatility in that first range so the three different totally different strategies all combining together unearthing those tributaries to show us that the flow downwards is going to be very strong so again we have that same entry that same entry works for us here in the Yes, that makes sense. Yes, it makes sense. We were below those support resistance zones. 76.24 is even below the three-minute support and resistance zone on this three-minute chart. Absolutely makes sense. All six time frames agree on the bias depth heat map. We've got so much confluence here. We've got to take the trade short. Managing the trade, we've talked about on the... Um, on the five minute, on the three minute here, we can still see that test. More importantly, we can still see the manager ribbon here still remaining red. This is the time we need to be patient. And this is where that top 0.1% of traders comes in. And this is what we cover on the apprenticeship is understanding that the manager will show you that behavior. You need to interpret it and follow the rules to maximize those profits, okay? Panicking up here near the entry would result in a break-even trade. Okay. Now, not panicking and following the rules, the expert rules, and that manager rules allows us to get that thousand dollar trade. Okay. So the exit on this particular strategy will be slightly higher. And it's just about getting that that level right. And we talk about that a lot more in there. So the next one. So whilst you were doing this, whilst I was, I was literally trading this, and I think I was on either the WhatsApp group or Discord, where I was trading that, and at the same time, this happened. 
on gold with the automated strategy builder for the range breakout strategy. This isn't me, and I know Mal is in this room right now. He woke up in California. This trade was $1,000 in profit on the range breakout for gold, okay, because he uses that. So, you know, finally caught a trade, nice one on the breakout, just got out of bed to my surprise and saw this, okay. Uh, obviously, California is a lot of different time zone to me, so as in just getting out of bed for me, I've traded oil, made $1,000, made $1,000 on gold, uh, and it's all happening at the same time on an automated strategy builder. Uh, so very, very powerful. So this is literally, this is off of WhatsApp and it's a screenshot. The actual chart for this looks something like this, okay? So um, this is the expert um, range breaker, auto strategy builder. It's what we call a, um, basically the momentum in oil actually did, it did cause this catalyst as well. Um, so we got what's called a continuation trade. We took the trade here and it actually closed out at the end of the session at this point here for around $1,469 because the, it also manages the trade as well. So one of the things I really want to talk about next year for 2024 is combining those manual trades with some of the more regular uh, automated strategies that we can automate and, and monitor quite quite easily because we do get uh, breakouts of gold we do get breakout of oil uh, nasdaq the, the, you, you know there's, there's some very predictable behavior that we can automate so we don't miss okay so secret three how to master the mindset of a top 0.1% trader? You need this brain, basically. Um, you need to be half mechanical, half human, okay? I don't get emotional whether I win or lose, okay? It's just a transaction. And uh, I have a certain set of rules. I followed those rules for a long time, longer than I can remember. Uh, and uh, it's it's very important to get that that routine daily, that weekly routine, uh, set those targets, and in, and in reality, just follow the rules. Be an algorithm, okay? That's all you need to be. Don't think outside the box. That's dangerous, okay? You need to follow the rules. I'm still here after 20 years. I followed the rules. I wouldn't be here if I didn't follow the rules. I'm sat in my house in Dubai, okay? I would not be sat in Dubai if I did not follow the rules. Start every day with that positive attitude, okay? If there's any negativity in your life, any negativity surrounding the start of your day, get rid of it or don't trade. Simple as that. Set yourself up for success by being organized, okay? Make sure you've got your coffee. Make sure you've looked at that economic calendar. Understand what's happening both in Europe and in the uh, in the US. Understand some global events that are happening right now. Is there, is there a massive conference of world leaders? In, you know, this, this, be aware, be organized, be ready. Make sure you've got the clear calendar. Very, very important. Proper preparation prevents poor performance, okay? There is another P in there, but I can't swear, okay? This goes back to my military days. You prepare for everything, yeah? You prepare for plan A, plan B, C, D, E, and F, okay? It will prevent poor performance. You need to plan. You need to follow the rules. One of the things you can look at is look at the biases. Are the biases totally mixed up when you start trading? If so, sit back, wait for things to happen. Don't try and force a trade. That's the worst thing you can do. What are the confluences? What are the correlations? Is Are, are the correlations out of whack? I share in the apprenticeship some very simple correlations that will stop you trading or actually give you confidence that actually it's a good trading day. Reduce risk with analytical, not emotional decisions, okay? We have set places for stops. We have set places to make risk-free. We have set places to manage trades. We use that analytical rule-based system, not emotional decisions. So you don't say, oh, I'm in $700 profit now. I'm just going to flatten. Only to find an hour later, if you have been in the trade, it's $1,400. This is why we talk about and learn about behavior. We understand what's going off once we're in the trade. We, we have a very simple way to manage those trades to maximize profits consistently. 
So it's a 40 week um, expert apprenticeship program designed to take all levels of traders. And you're going to hear from uh, a couple of traders uh, that have been through it in 2023 soon, uh, even beginners. And one of them was a beginner uh, to be constant, constantly profitable. Um, you know, uh, that's the thing that we all want to do. We can't exactly sell a beach in Bali and trade because you do need the technology to do it properly. Um, but you could, you know, the life is there if you take the time to make it, to follow the rules, be an algorithm. Don't be a human being too much. Just get that balance right. And hopefully we will show you how to do that. So 96% of traders lose money during their trading lifespan. You've probably heard this statistic before, but did you know there's 95 million traders, retail traders in the world. So that's Asia, US, Europe, you you name it. There's 95 million, 96% of those lose money. So only 4% are actually making money on the other side. You need to be on that other side, okay? And it is achievable. So next really is over to Gary for a little while. Thank you, Paul. So, ladies and gents, we um, have done a lot of work on this Expert Academy. And obviously, Paul has spoken a little bit about some of the strategies there. But what we really want to do is we want to introduce just 10 people. So it's a maximum of 10 people to go through this cohort of the uh, Expert uh, Apprenticeship Program. And we kind of we've developed a brand new learning portal. We've got everything ready for uh, in situ. And if you can just t t change that slide, please, Paul. Um, I like to coin the phrase that, um, that 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 learners are earners. And we've all heard this phrase before, ladies and gents, the de definition of insanity. You do the same thing day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, and you expect a different result. So if you've been trading for a short time, a, a long time, and you're not getting the results, well, for something to change, maybe you need to be the change and paul he's got so much information in his brain and when i first started speaking with paul i said paul can you just stop there please and he'd say what i said to me you're speaking in swahili i don't quite understand what you're saying and he would laugh and joke said no no paul just explain to this to me in simple terms and uh, one of the uh, apprentices from last year, um, Frank, who was a brand new um, uh, trader, a novice trader, he and I had a joke one time and said, yes, he does speak Swahili because we, we don't understand him. But one of the things Paul does within these apprentice programs, he's quite fantastic. He breaks everything down into the simplest of, of, of forms so that everybody can understand it. And when we go through through this, this, this 40 week period, I think it's very exciting, especially when you think that an accountant, for example, will take seven years uh, to trade. A, a solicitor, exactly the same thing. A doctor, the same thing. With us, we're looking at 40 weeks of part-time learning for you to crawl, walk, run, and then fly. And, and the way Paul has created this is, starting from the 7th of January, um, you get exposed to a, a, a private area of our learning portal. The first week you, you you have some theory and I suspect probably three to five hours a week is going to more than cover, you know, some of this this learning experience. And then on the next week, Paul will go through some observations, some practice and some homework. So he'll actually do some live stuff for us all to watch, learn. And because there's only 10 people within the cohort, we can ask him questions during each of these 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 these, uh, these alternate weeks. And if you can just press that again for me, please, Paul. Um, so this is kind of what you can see here, just on, on, on one of the one of the, the rotations. You can see that Paul will go through the expert range breakout. Um, uh, and then week 12, there'll be practice and live observation. So what we'll do is we'll actually release one week at a time so you don't have information overload. And I do believe that um, a confused person does nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to release each week your next week's uh, learning. Then Paul's going to do some observation. And then we're going to grow into this new trading knowledge that we have. And of course, uh, the more knowledge you have, the better it's going to be when you actually are eventually allowed to trade. And if you can press that slide again for my police, Paul. I'm useful for something. 
Sorry? <laughs> I'm useful for something. Yeah. <laughs> so, so just to sort of um, look at we, this apprenticeship program, it's kind of in two parts, ladies and gents. Part one is where we go through these live training sessions. You'll also get lifetime access to these indicators that Paul alluded to earlier. I think the big thing for me is that one-to-one -one mentorship. You know, Paul, he's been trading for 20 years. He's been trading successfully. You don't move from Spain to Dubai uh, just because you want to. It's because you're doing really well financially. Um, and I know for a fact that when I speak to Vic, Lou, and Frank, this one-to-one -one men mentorship was so vital to, to them and, and their growth as traders. And also, I'm going to share you, with you something in the portal. There's this community support. So the 10 uh, participants in this cohort, they will be able to interact with each other and learn from each other. So the first part is really going through the 40-week apprenticeship program. At the end of that 40-week program, then you can go away and obviously become one of those successful traders. And the thing I love about this, ladies and gents, whether you're a novice trader or not, um, what Paul would recommend during this 40-week uh, uh, period, especially if you are a novice, is not to actually trade with your own money. Paul will educate you to train on a simulator. If you, if you make some mistakes, it's not a problem. It's not your money. But Paul will then explain to you where you went wrong, what you could have done. Follow the rules. Look for reasons not to trade. And, and and that's kind of the big part of the apprenticeship program. At the end of the 40 weeks, join that 0.1% of traders that are really successful. I'm not talking little success. I'm talking major success with, with learning resources that you can take with you for the rest of your life. But then there's a second part to the apprenticeship program. And this is what we call the brand ambassador. Part one, once you've finished, if all you want to do is to go away and trade, absolutely fantastic. But if you want to, the next part is to become one of our brand ambassadors. And you can see here we've got pictures of uh, Lou, Frank and Vic. They've been ex-bratted, so they've got half a half an analytical brain, as Paul mentioned there. But if you do want to become one of the brand ambassadors, you can then sell some of these uh, trading indicators. Um, you can make profit from the sale of these uh, trading indicators. And what we're really looking to do is, is, to, is to expand this fantastic, fantastic philosophy that Paul has. You know, remember this thing, I view my success as an entrepreneur, entrepreneur not by how rich or successful I become, but by, but by how many people become rich and successful as a result of me. We need to get out there and, and, and spread the good word of this program and get as many people as we can to go from trading in a negative entity to a positive, positive entity. So that's kind of the second part of what we've got here. And if you can just slide the next one, please. Um, Paul. So Frank, Frank is on uh, on the call here. Frank, can you do me a favor, please, buddy? And can you just unmute yourself? Of course I can. <laughs> Frank, uh, welcome to our meeting. Frank, just out of curiosity, whereabouts in the world are you right now? Uh, I'm in the area of Frankfurt in Germany. Lovely. And I'm in my, and in my office, of course, because um, I've learned that uh, there was the New York uh, Gold Open um, 20 minutes ago, and I had a look at it. <laughs> Are you trading right now? No, I don't. Good, good. I want your, your, your concentration here. So, Frank, um, I know you love the nomadic lifestyle, and you've got a base in, in Germany. You like to travel around in your motorhome. Um, and I think I just want to ask you three questions, if it's okay, Frank, just so we can get some, some feedback from you. Um, question course, number one. Sure. Question number one, Frank, what's the best thing about the apprenticeship program? Hmm. What I like about the training is that um, I have constant access to the learning platform and uh, a team of people I can ask questions at any time. Um, also, the materials are set up in, in such a way that um, as a beginner, which I was until a few months ago, I, had, I, I can handle it very, very well. Um, the training is really easy to implement with a, with a little bit of, yeah, of course you have to, to invest some time. Um, but um, if you would have asked me two years uh, ago, I, I would have done it. Uh, uh, it's, um, it's easy to understand. And, and I was a beginner. I was this newbie Paul talked about. Um, and I had no clue of a chart, of a, of a candlestick pattern, a, um, 
I, I remember the time, the first time I was in in Paul's office uh, in Spain, um, and uh, he he explained some things to me, but I I said, okay, this guy is crazy. You said Suaheli, it was more than that. <laughs> I love it. But now you understand what he's saying. You've you've gone on a Swa Swahili translation course, right? Yeah, um, I was. <laughs> so, Frank, second question. What do you like best about Paul and his mentoring style? Um, as you you all saw, Paul, um, his behavior is uh, um, a, a good behavior um, for a teacher. Paul said once to me, I'm not a teacher. I don't teach people. I want to... Um, uh, to empower people um, to go further, to do the next step. And that is exactly what I, what I like about him. But also, um, the sentence I can't hear anymore is stuck to the rules. You have to stuck to the rules. Um, and if you do that, you will be successful. And that's the most important thing. He can be very nice, very friendly, but also he can put... Uh, the, the the things you have to do uh, on the table and um, in a way where I can handle it, yeah. No, no, the not the one who is uh, who knows everything better, um, but in a way to hey, look at this. Uh, we we often shared some uh, um, um, screenshots which I did, and I asked Paul, hey, what did I wrong uh, when I was uh, um, uh, on the wrong way? And he said, hey, did you look for example on the on the bias? And I said, oh, I forgot. So um, it's it's a way where I, as a as a beginner, um, understood understood fully what he meant, and it was uh, it was easy for me uh, to do every single next step uh, because it was it was yeah it was motivational for me um, how he did that. Thanks, Frank. And just finally, um, before I let you go, uh, what do you expect to gain in profits during your next year of trading? Then, what's your kind of goal for this? Yeah, um, I made a plan for myself to uh, get back the investment, uh, uh, which I did for the apprenticeship. Um, and I'm able to manage um, $500 per trading day. I, I set up an Excel sheet for myself, uh, 10 trading uh, trading days per month, because we can't trade every day. We are looking for reasons not to trade. Um, and I'm able to do um, $500 per trading day. And this is enough for me. I can live my life I want to live. <laughs> I like it. Frank, thank you very much. So next, just nice, nice and quickly, um, if you can change that screen, please. Can we just, Vic, can you possibly unmute yourself, please, so um, we can hear you? Sure, Gary. Can you hear me okay? Yeah, lovely. Vic, tell us where you are in the world and, and, uh, and what time is where you are. Uh, right now, it's uh, almost 9 o'clock. It's 8.42 on Eastern Standard Time. I live in Pennsylvania in the United States. Lovely. So, Vic, is it okay we just keep it nice and simple and ask you the same question? So you've probably had a pre-warning there of what Frank was asked. Um, what's the best thing you you, you you thought about the apprenticeship program? Um, I thought it was very, it was a very thought out process that Paul had put together so that whether it be philosophical, logical, or the, the physical indicators themselves, the, the, the training of it, the presentation of that material, I think felt it went through the proper progression so that you, even if you were experienced or a novice, you could learn and put the puzzle pieces together moving forward. The other thing that I thought was good is Paul had us, uh, each of the, the participants uh, choose a specific trading asset. I, for example, I, I picked uh, uh, soybean and focused on that. And I can guarantee you that even if you just choose one asset, when you get done through that program, you could just physically trade that asset and not worry about all the other stuff that's going on around you and so forth. So I thought that mm -hmm. that uh, just to the process, the mechanics and the focus on learning everything about one particular thing, all the economics, the stuff that correlated with the movement. I thought that was, uh, you know, a fabulous uh, way to, you know, train the uh, folks on the apprenticeship program. Thanks, Vic. And the same question, what do you like best about Paul and his uh, mentoring style? Um, 
Paul mentioned in one of the previous slides, you know, keeping the emotion out. And Paul, um, as you, as you mentioned, has an engineering background. I think as an engineer, you 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 tend to move forward in logic, the world of logic, rather than the world of emotion. And as a trader, you have to have a, a certain mindset that avoids all the emotional part and get to the part where you're prescriptive, and you're going to do X, Y, Z, check the boxes. And as um, Paul mentioned, and as Frank had just mentioned, you want to see, have reasons why not to make a particular trade. And if you're getting all emotional and you do revenge trading because you had a bad trade or something like that, that's just not the way to do it. If you get, if you get too emotional because you had a bad trade, then it doesn't put you in the right mindset. It doesn't put you in the right positive energy and so forth. Paul, in his uh, training style, um, you know, he comes across as uh, employing that combination of calmness along with the logic around it and the proper information to uh, to help you become an effective trader, apprentice, and so forth. So I, I think there are good styles that Paul um, has and practices every time I've ever, and I've, I've worked, I've, I've been involved with uh, Paul's trainings and tools for over six years now. Fantastic. Thanks, Vic. And last one, the fun one, what do you expect to earn in profits this year then, bud? Um, similar to what Frank was talking about, uh, mine uh, slightly higher. I want to average about $600 a, a trading session, um, but not every day there's going to be a trade or there might be uh, you know one trade or something like that. So I've had days where I've traded um, and have six thousand, you know, dollars. Other days it might be fifty dollars because there's just nothing there that really is sparking interest, and in the in your, uh, you know, exit plan gets hit right away and so forth. But um, yeah, I, I think on average it would be about a, a six hundred dollar um, trading session uh, target is what I've been uh, focusing on right now, which is approximately like a three and a half percent. Per day type of stuff based on what depending on what uh, level of income or money you have available in your account lovely thanks Vic good luck with that and um, if you can just advance that slide please uh, Paul we were going to hear from Lou but Lou is, is uh, currently trading so uh, good luck with that trade you're doing over in Texas Lou uh, I know you're on and you're, you're multitasking there so I won't get you off uh, off your trading focus there um, Paul if you don't mind, can you possibly stop sharing so I can share with the ladies and gents our learning portal? So um, I just want to um, share this new learning portal we created. So um, ah, point you to enable screen sharing if you can. So, ladies and gents, one of the um, one of the things that um, Paul is absolutely fantastic at, at you, as you know, is he's created over 600 uh, videos helping people to learn how to trade. And we have our very own learning portal. It's a very clever portal um, where you can easily search on, on any of these videos. So I was having a chat with somebody uh, just earlier on, um, and they were talking about Slingshot. Um, so if you wanted to know more about Slingshot, you simply go into the search box here on uh, on our learning portal, and it will it will show pretty much every video that Paul has recorded with regards to Slingshot. Um, so if we go into one of these here, this just, just use the top one as an example. When we go into this into this video, it may very well be that you've been on the apprenticeship program or you've been on one of live uh, on one of Paul's live webinars. And you don't really want to watch the whole video again. Something in that video grabbed your attention and you wanted to know more about it. Well, the great thing is you just go to the caption section here because everything that Paul says is actually transcribed in this text here. And you can go down through the text and just think, oh, yes, I just want to go down to this part of the video here. It will then go straight down to that part of the video and you can start to play from there. And I'm not going to go through and do that right now. But it's just a really good way to 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 navigate through this knowledge base because Paul has got a lot of things going on there, as you do know. So when we go through into um, the apprenticeship program, I'm going to show you this from our back end, not from what you would you would see as an apprentice. But you can see here we actually have all of the weeks all ready for everybody 
to come and join us on this apprenticeship program. 40 weeks of, of work all ready for you. Part of the training is mandatory. So there are uh, parts of the training you need to do because there will be assessments, quizzes, etc. within these videos. But for people like maybe Frank or, or other novice trainers, traders, they want to know a little bit more. Maybe they want to know what Fibonacci is because they have no idea. And we also have, um, just to kind of help people, an expert glossary. And inside this glossary, which is in every single week, Anybody that's being a novice trainer, what we ask them to do is if they heard Paul speak about something they didn't know what it was, we put this into a, into a glossary. So if Paul starts speaking about candlesticks and you don't know about candlesticks, you just go into the search bar in the glossary, put in candlesticks, and you will find out what candlesticks are, what wicks are, what futures are, what anything is. So we built up this glossary to ensure that you know everything that comes out of Paul's mouth and through this transitional period of 40 weeks you will go through the program and uh, obviously um, become one of those 0.1% traders that's kind of the plan of what we've got there and Paul if you can put that slide deck back on now please just to bring this to a close and if you can advance the next slide please Paul so the apprenticeship program um Enrollment is $30,000. For that, you get over $23,000 of uh, indicators. And many of these, of course, are on a lifetime, um, li lifetime subscription. If you're already using any of these indicators, you can cancel those because they will be included uh, within the subscription. And in those 40 weeks, um, this will equip you with all of the skills and knowledge to become a top trader. And if you can just press that slide on again, please, Paul. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> the glossary has been translated from Swahili uh, into 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 English simplified. Um, <laughs> thank you, Doug. That um, was so, yeah, it was very funny. Um, so important things to understand from from our point of view. You enter into this forty week program, um, and remember, Paul doesn't want you to trade during that period. We're going to go on to some simulated trading. He's going to make sure you don't waste your money. He's going to show you when you do things wrong because you will do things wrong and how you can improve your 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 conversion ratio. I think I just want to add there, Gary, that uh, a lot of people will back back me up here that's been on the apprenticeship that is I won't let them trade until I see their sim trades and I see the the flow, the confluence of uh, continual winning trades. Uh, and I will help them to get that. Uh, it's very important that uh, we share uh, the winners and the losers so I can understand where you're going wrong because I've got this affinity to actually look at the chart, look at the trade and understand what went wrong, what rules weren't followed. Uh, and, and that's the way to learn. Uh, that's the way to build the muscle memory. Um, so, yes, it's not. A, <clears throat> yes, you, you can totally ignore me if you want to. Uh, but I will tell you when it's the right time to start putting these um, lessons into practice with real money. Yeah, thanks. Paul. Perfect. Yeah. So month one, what we would then say, look, then you start your trading. Uh, let's assume you start with a ten thousand dollar trading account. Your target is to make around about one thousand two hundred dollars profit per week. So the end of that first month, your trading balance will be around $14,800. And we're going to harness the awesome power of the compound effect. Month two, remember, we've got a little bit more in the, in, in the trading account here. You're picking up a little, little bit of pace now. At the end of this month, your account balance is around about $21,000, $22,000. And we have this thing called momentum. And when you get big mo, you want big mo on your side. Because month three... We're compounding even further. You're on full throttle now. You've gone from that $1,200 per week in profits, now up to $2,600 per week. Um, so by the end of that month, your account balance is around about $32,000. A month or I think is where we get that critical mass. That's when your target's now sitting at you know about $3,800 per week. So by the end of month four, your account balance is $47,000 uh, or there, thereabouts. Now, I, uh, I love uh, reading this book called Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. And what he does say is whatever your mind can, can conceive and believe, it will achieve. And Paul takes this analytical approach um, 
And I believe that you cannot hit a target you cannot see. If this was our target, so you join our apprenticeship program, we say, right, together with our collective minds, with the superb indicators that Paul has, and this one-to-one -one mentorship, how about if we set ourselves this as our target by the end of month four, and understand that we are now harnessing that power of the compound effect, so month five, six, and beyond, keep going. And as Buzz Lightyear does say, to infinity and beyond. You know, you're, the only, only limitations we have are in our mind. And this is where you go from being in that 96% of traders to the 0.1% of traders that Paul alluded to. So, Paul, if you can uh, go to the next slide. Just, wanna, and, just uh, a little bit of uh, extra there is to say that once you've done the apprenticeship, you are still not alone. So in the in the expert teams that we have, there is an apprenticeship past and present. That is constant contact with me and each other. Uh, if, whether you become a brand ambassador or not, you will be in that teams forever. So it's not. <clears throat> so this is month four after you started live trading. After the course is finished, it doesn't matter whether you're on month twenty four. You will still be part of that community of apprentices, past and present, and you will, that community will be very, very strong. And you will continue to get that support from me and um, those brand ambassadors that, that take it to the next level. Perfect. Thanks, Paul. And we're bringing this to a, a, a close right now. Um, your next steps, I guess, just remember we're only allowing 10 students and we already have some of them booked in and already uh, registered. If you're interested, register your interest as soon as possible. And then um, let's have a one-to-one -one with myself. We'll have a little chat, just talk through some of the dynamics of it. Uh, and then we can also advance from a from a chat with myself to a chat with Paul. If you want to secure your place um, with these ten student, you know these ten births, secure it with a non refundable uh, five thousand dollar deposit, and then we would require the remaining balance to be paid by the fifteenth of December. Because don't forget, we've got the festivities of Christmas and New Year coming up, and we're kicking off on the seventh of January. So that's kind of the call to action we have here. And then, Paul, I think uh, it's only good to hand over to you and you can you can close the meeting. OK, so uh, thanks very much, guys. And in fact, most of you hung around, um, which is fantastic. Um, I am going to share the link in the chat as well. Uh, again, one of the things that we do is that Gary has that conversation with you first, because it's very important to understand uh, the cost, uh, the the commitment from you is three to five hours per week. It's not massive, but it's understanding that it's, you know, week of theory, followed by a live session with me, followed by a week of observations, practicing the homework. And that just goes bang, 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 bang. And before you know it, the four two weeks is over. Uh, and you will get that constant contact from me. And this is why we've only put it at 10 people. I tried it with 16 people last year and I got spread a little thin. And I think it's important to me, I get the Franks that keep going, okay? Uh, so um, it's very important, you know, Vic, Vic's been using our software for five, six years. Uh, he, you know, he, he kills it, okay? He's one of our brand ambassadors. Uh, uh, Frank's a massive win for me because his first language is not English. It's German. He's come on the course, total newbie, and now I, I've, I've seen his results. Sometimes he's doing three, uh, you know, 3,000 euros a, a week. Uh, he's hitting those targets, and that's the main thing. So if he hits that target on Tuesday, he doesn't trade for the rest of the week. It, you know, it's one of those strict rules. We take you through that first month's first four months and those are the targets that we set each other and those are very important we do it together and you got to walk walk before you can run so you know we're only flying when we're on month 12 13 14 you, you're still in that sort of walking stroke running phase when you uh when you've passed and you're you're getting that and we, we, we you know we think you're ready for that live trading and that first four months it's very important to you know to keep going together to make sure that you are going from that running to actually flying so uh expertacademy.com forward slash apprenticeship more inf information on there uh some videos of frank and vic and lou uh that um have become brand ambassadors and they kindly did some interviews with uh, Gary as well. So I'm just going to open it up a uh, quick five minutes. We've covered a lot of information here. Um, uh, I have to go to bed soon because my wife has to go to the airport at 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, and I 
got the Uber. <laughs> so I'm the Uber. So let's get on and ask any questions, any burning questions. So uh, Ninja Trader is the only platform that we have the automated strategy builders on because there, there's a very it's very complex logic. Let me just switch the video back on here so you can see. Me. So um, all of the other trading indicators are available on the other platforms. Okay, uh, it's just that the automated strategy builders are not. Okay, uh, we would have. <clears throat> you've got to think that uh, think of Swim for example is very old. It's a very old technology. Trading view, for example, is a cloud-based system, so we can't run extreme logic through it. Okay, we can use trading indicators, but we cannot run strategies and automated strategy builders. Motive Wave is pretty similar, but it's very difficult to use for automated strategy builders because we have latencies of like 0.3 milliseconds and all that sort of stuff. So, um, yes, Mel, thank you. Mel is actually coming on board on the apprenticeship in the new year. He's already paid. He's already on boarded. He, he's, he's coming on board. Um, uh, there's no financing available, I'm afraid. Uh, it's only 10 people, so we're looking for those 10 that can do it. Obviously, you can look for your own financing if you wish to attend. Um, so, yes, um, you know, I would advise, I, I, I've been doing this a long time, and I've used some institutional um, software in the past. Ninja Trader, for me, and I get no commissions from them whatsoever, okay? I'm just going to put that out there. but. The, the amount of logic that we can put through Ninja Trader because it's downloaded onto computer, you know, i7, i9 computers, 32 gig of RAM, good graphics cards, that sort of thing, it will handle so much more. And if you're going to take trading seriously, move to Ninja Trader, learn it as we go through the 40 weeks, it will be worth your while. I can guarantee it. It gives you so many more opportunities. Than the other trading platforms so hopefully i've meant i've answered that question uh any more questions some water i'm on fire them at me before i go for dinner No more questions. Okay. Okay, guys, I am going to get going. Thank you very much for turning up today. Uh, and the recording will be out um, in the next couple of days. Cheers, everybody.